for another video and today we're going to continue the logic and data book and if you haven't watched my first video on logic and data make sure to go and check it out and so let's get straight into the book so first let's gently move these okay so we've done these pages now it says how to do how do computers think to get a computer to do something you need it to understand the task really well first and then come up with a plan for doing it. Now, you, if you don't understand, like I explained in my last video, your brain just can't get the things that you need to actually get to your plan or thing that you want to do as it says here a plan so you want to get to your plan you want to get to your goal reach your goal that's what you just want to do you don't want to not reach your goal you if you don't want to reach your goal then you're never going to become success in life no success but you want success. So, how do they think? Now, think of, just forget about all the electronics and just think on our brain and computers and laptops. They don't have brains, no. They work the same, except we have to program them. So say this, this, um, this like laptop, Say you wanted it to say hello and say paper. You'll have to program. So like type, type, type. But if you program, then you just program it, programming it. But you're not actually making it think. Well, you are. Because think, program and use editing softwares and things so you had a youtube video and a youtube channel how would you make the youtube channel if you can't understand all youtube things and plan it if you couldn't then you wouldn't make a youtube channel or youtube video but you want to so that's what you want to do okay so now we're on this bit it says imagine there's a prize in one of these rooms draw lines to show the route you would take to check all the rooms now this one's a kind of easy one but we'll just do it anyway start from the start just i thought why don't we do it this way then you can just come so there, we've done that. Now, are there different ways to check all the rooms? Do you think so? Put the comments down below. To me, I think it's a yes. So, right, yes. Okay, how many routes can you try? Now, this is a lot. And just because it can get a little too much roots a little too many roots um i'm just gonna predict how much i think will be there and there will there might be less or more than what i'm gonna predict and that's basically understanding what it's what what is written and planning the prediction like i said in my last video predict able you're able to do it so yeah so i would say around 39 or 40 i'll just write 39. okay computers aren't capable able there's that word able suffix cap is the root word and capable means you you you, you can do it capable Capable. Think. 
you are a footballer playing for Man United or Liverpool, whatever, and you are you weren't capable to do it, or if you were capable to do it, that's what capable means in my way. What I'm trying to say. So let's just rub this. To th of thinking, thinking like predicting now like the computers and laptops they do they think as well the question is how do they think we'll get onto that on a few more pages they need to be told exactly that's what they need exactly what to do if they're not told exactly what to do then honestly they're gonna do nothing all they're gonna do is turn on and off that's what you can do just if they if they're not keep a bull that word again of doing anything like say like they were they weren't capable of saying hello anything they weren't even allowed to they're not capable of doing literally anything except turning on and off then they'll be just bad you'd not like that and yeah imagine imagine if you just had a world of computers and laptops that can just turn on and off at first, it might be satisfying, like, oh, that's so satisfying. Oh, too satisfying. Then you'll go like, oh, this is too much. Oh, this is boring. I need I need a new technology of some sort. That's why laptops and computers are capable of doing things and they can be programmed and understand and plan things. Like, say you had a Python which is a coding thing, which is a coding app that you can also download. Um, I would rather try predicting and using this one called Scratch. And Scratch is a very good, I mean, Python's good as well, just that um, Python is a little hard to understand. And that's where Scratch comes in as um, me, I'm saying the best one for me yet. And really, I like Scratch because cause at the start, you have this like board game, which is just boring. Like at first you go like, oh, I think I have to dodge them. But then the, the person tells you, go through them. You go through them, boring, literally boring. Then you start programming them and they have like a list and that's where you have to understand things and plan what you want to do, like reaching your goal, like footballers do as well. Okay, guys, bye. See you in my next videos. Don't forget to subscribe and like my videos. Uh, answer two comments and one more comment. Share and tell me if you like this video. Bye.